times people get injured doing yoga. People get injured doing everything. Um, all those things that we don't, we don't just go back over again. It's obvious. You, you know, they were. Department of Consumer Affairs, um, someone I, I saw their blog response to this article, and they went on the Department of Consumer Affairs website to see how many people were injured doing things like playing basketball last year, and there were uh, well over 500,000 basketball injuries and an equal amount of football injuries and a little few less for baseball and skiing, on and on down the list. And um, a thousand people died falling down flights of stairs. And uh, worldwide, there were reported um, 743 visits to um, the emergency room because of a yoga injury. So 743 in comparison to 500,000 for basketball is, you know, nominal. And um, also, if you consider the numbers of people practicing, it's also pretty slim. However, you know, he was right. People do get injured. Um, so, my basic feeling about that particular article was that it was a good PR move um, by William Broad and his people, because he was writing a book he wants people to buy it. And um, if you want someone to read an article about yoga, and you write, yoga is so good, and everybody loves it, and it's curing the world, and you know, it's going to make you happy, and slim, and fit, and blah, 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 and enlightened, and all these things. Um, you know, who cares? Nobody's going to read it in the New York Times. But if you take the most inflammatory topic you can think of, then yes, everyone's going to read it. And the weekend that the article came out, it was the most read article on the entire New York Times website, and the amount of comments that came in closed down their comment section, which goes to show it was a really good move on the part of the New York Times. I think that, um, you know, it, it, there are a lot of really good yoga teachers, and there are um, a few not-so-good yoga teachers, and there are a lot of very careful practitioners, and a, a few, you know, not-so-careful practitioners. Uh, we all know all these things already, it's obvious. Some people are well-trained and some people aren't well-trained. We need to be discerning and we need to be careful. Um, but I think, it, since the question was about the New York Times, my basic response is, it was inflammatory on purpose for William Broad to sell books. And um, his last article, which was basically saying that yoga, you know, started from a sex cult, as if it's a bad thing. <laughs> is also inflammatory. And so now you have, you know, William Broad is turning into the New York Times go-to yoga guy, which is actually a crying shame because um, he doesn't really know that much and his research is incredibly faulty. Um, so, you know, what's the solution? I have no idea. What I'd really like to do is I'd like to challenge William Broad to an old-style Vedic debate. Which this is how that works. This is what you do. He, 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 challenge a person to a debate, you need a panel of about 35 scholars in front of you to judge the debate. And um, what happens is the person who loses the debate has to give up their credentials and become the disciple of the other person. 